I'm here in Traverse City, Michigan. It is so incredibly beautiful down here by the water, but I'm not here for the cherries or the wineries or for vacation. No, I'm here to pick up a really cool piece of equipment that's going to further my knife making career. I'm so excited to head over and to pick it up. Let's go see a buddy and check it out. Well, here's Poppy. Look at how cute this golden is. You said what, how many weeks did you say? Oh, just a little baby. Oh, you're so nice. She's really had not a lot of training, so she's, she's really great. Very good girl. I made it to Ethan's old shop, Sugar Shack Forge. Let's check this place out. And I honestly, I have no idea how he gets any work done because this place is like so beautiful up here. Travis City is amazing. Um, so Ethan, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, tell the people where they can find you. All right, uh, I'm Ethan. I have done very little work recently, but I got an Instagram, Sugar Fat Shack Forge. You know, maybe once I get a shop again, yeah. uh, I'll be able to make more stuff. Hey, there we go. So this property sold, uh, you were working, you said you were talking about you were working in this property because a very nice farmer allowed you to work here. Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans for where you're gonna be going next? Honestly, I'll probably, I have to get rid of some of these tools, but probably move back in at the house. Whatever you can do to make things work. Um, obviously this place is, I mean, you've got some phenomenal tools. Do we want to do like a quick little run around of everything that's going on? I'd love to, I mean, it sucks that you're losing the shop, but like a final shop tour might be nice. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a little fun. Yeah. Um, I got a lot, of, I basically bought very little new things. So I found a couple of states that I bought stuff and I just collected things over the years. Mm -hmm. So this is the grinder room. And so Very grinder nice. Room, but wow. Got some stuff. Just a couple grinders. Just a couple grinders. There's one at the house too. What's this guy right here? This one's a reader. It's one of their, I mean, they still make this one, I think, but so I decided. I don't think I've seen one of these in person. That's pretty cool. I set it up with a water cooled system. So I've got like a water cooled platen and grinding setup for axes and race axes that I used to make. Nice. What are, what's up with these other grinders? What's, these look like uh They are what used to be the top of the line. They still technically are uh, top of the line, like knife grinders. They're Birking. So this guy was one of the, well, actually that one was the first interchangeable two by 72 grinder. This one back here. Yeah, um, popularized by, oh, what's this? Oh, what's the really classic knife maker? Uh, ah, fuck, I don't remember his name. But <laughs> That's okay. He was like, this is like the first interchangeable knife grinder that you could change from wheels to different platens mm -hmm. and like everything on that wall can fit on that grinder, which is kind of crazy. And then these two are the ones that they changed it up to. So nice. This is like a DC variable speed. It seems like you're, I mean, you've got just about all the different types of grinders you would ever want for knife making and other tool making. So, I mean... That's a good setup. And the fact that you have uh, your own, like, you've got a separated grinding room so you can kind of keep the dust and, you know, crap down in here. That was the goal. I mean, I basically, I started building the shop out and then I found that the property owner was selling it. Sure. So I kind of like, mm, yeah. You know, rather than spending more time and money on it. But this is the forging area. Um, I'm seeing that monster anvil we'll get to yeah. in here in a second, but. Um, Older hydraulic press. Oh yeah, let me check this out for a second. So, is this something that was, you know, a, supposed to be a hydraulic press, yeah. or did you build it yourself, or what's what's the situation? No, this is, a, this is supposed to be a hydraulic press. Okay, um, cool. I don't know if you've heard of like the Uncle Al's okay. hydraulic presses. I brought it about a year for a pretty good deal, but looks fine, it's super loud and annoying. It's not like mine, but it's just completely cobbled together and shouldn't no, be a press. It's not, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a press. Okay, okay cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, at the time I set it up for basic forging tasks. Sure. Had, this is a beast, look at that thing. Whoo! So this is a number eight Norton fly press <laughs> that needs some stabilizing, but yeah. It's like the precursor to hydraulic press. Sure, of course. Big giant swage, that's awesome. Just a couple tongs too, holy cow. These all came out of northern Vermont. Nice. A family friend that bought out a 
blacksmith shop that I then made a knife and traded with him for a bunch of stuff. Nice. Well, okay. Tell me about this baby amble. Well, baby. We can't really call that a baby. I mean, what's that? 175 or more pounds? It's like 190. 190? What is it? This one was my first anvil. This was okay. a Peter Wright. Um, I bought it from a blacksmith down in Woodstock, Vermont, back when I lived there. Okay. And that's when I first, I got my first, like, setup of stuff. Um, but it served me well. It's got really nice edges. Um, yeah. And then that's the actual baby in the corner. Oh, the actual baby. Oh, that's cute. Tell me about this little guy. That one's a Samson. So if you've ever heard of Fisher Angels, it's kind of a sim similar design. Mm -hmm. But there is a, like, if you look at the history of Anvils, there's there's like a split between Fisher Angels and sure. this one company. Um, and this company produced Anvils for a little while. And they have a thicker face and tool seal horn than some of the fishers gotcha but yeah super random all right big old it says gladiator on there holy cow look at this thing first of all how heavy is this thing uh 450 450 this is the largest anvil i've ever been in presence of that's crazy so what is it it's a nimba gladiator yeah um it came out of a shop in northern Maine. The guy's name is Lance Clotier. Yeah. Um, he was an artist blacksmith, pretty influential in Abana at the time, but he passed away and his um, family was basically doing a auction for his tools. Nice. Yeah. Well, it's I'm a, sure you... It's a heck of an Yeah, no doubt. That thing's crazy. A little bit of old school. That's nice. Hmm. What's this uh, forge setup you got? Shit. <laughs> Chili Forge. Hey man, if it works, it works. Oh, that's great. I mean, yeah. It needs to be relined. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I set up a, what do you call it? Like a standby circuit on the propane to turn it down. Sure. Thanks for showing up. Yeah. Rats. Hey, you know, you gotta, yeah, if it's crusty, it's, it's obviously used. So that's, that's awesome. Well, look. All right. Well, let's, I guess the whole reason why we're here is I am purchasing this milling machine. You want to tell me a little bit about it? Uh, this guy came out of an old knife maker shop. I purchased it with the thought that I was going to use it to make guards and slip joints. That's exactly what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Um, but I also bought it right around the time when I was like, oh shit, I can't use this shop anymore. So oh boy. I got it set up. Didn't really do anything other than put it on the stand and let it there. Well, it looks good sitting here. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty. So it's central machinery. Uh, it looks relatively stout. I've never, this would be my first ever uh, milling machine. So I am going to definitely be learning a lot with it. Any advice for just milling machine at all? Have you ever, are you in this the same? Also, this is also gonna be my first milling machine. <laughs> okay. I, I would've been in the same boat as you. Okay. Everything about it, so. Okay. I, yeah. I mean, it's it's obviously going to be functional. It's going to be working. It's, uh, you know. Okay, yeah, that's the yeah. goal. Yeah. All right. Well, I think yeah. we're going to go ahead and get this thing loaded. Ethan, I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, allowing me out here and giving me a scream and deal on this guy. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to see what I can do with it. I haven't seen the tooling that comes with it yet. Oh, yeah? What tooling comes with it? All, wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't even realize. I thought I was just getting the tool. Oh, no, I don't want any of it. All of this? Holy, oh my, Lanta. My screaming deal just got even crazier. In, in theory, it has everything that you should. <sighs> Dude. And what's what's all this situation? What the heck? It has a whole setup for like cutting in nail necks and it, oh. it truly should have everything you need to do slip joints. No yeah, doubt. The guy who had it used to make switch blades. Okay. Yeah, this is significantly better of a deal than... I thought I was getting a crazy deal. And then you throw all this on top. I had no idea. I got nothing left to eat. Well, thank you. I, really, I mean, I already shook your hand, but holy cow. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing loaded in. And uh, we'll get it on the road. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> So we got it all the way down to the ground. You're saying next step is to set it down and get the head off to then put in the Jeep. 
Is that what you're thinking? I think that's the goal. I, guess, <laughs> I should have charged more. We, yeah, you definitely should have charged more. You're not getting your, your sweat equity out of this one. Just like that, she all fit. We've got the stand back there, the head apart from the body, uh, even more stuff. The dude absolutely loaded me up with a boatload of stuff for it, as well as a nice little vise that goes with it. And then some more stuff. And on top of all of it, there's the shroud. Thank you again. Yeah. This was a lot of fun. It's been nice to come out and check out your old shop and to uh, see you in person again. And uh, hey, yeah, dude. You. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. Appreciate you. Well, let's Thank go you. ahead, get all this unloaded in the shop. Let's see what I can do with it. Ready? Lift with your back, not your legs. All the way up, up. all the way up. I am incredibly excited to have the new milling machine in my shop. I think we've got to name it. I'm, I'm really leaning towards the green machine, but if you have a better name, let me know in the comments down below. While you're down in the comments, if you happen to be a person who is really familiar with the milling machine and all of the processes, I am a total noob. So I need your help if you have videos that I should watch or if you have information that I need to know, please go ahead and reach out to me and let me know because I need all the help that I can get. I would really appreciate if you guys would reach out. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you supporting my work. Go check out all of the links down below. And if you want a handmade custom knife, you know what to do. Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Just got a new milling machine. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? All the time through, now let it go. Yeah, now that all the uh, lifting's done, you can come on in and check it out. <laughs> it's like a drilling pre dr drill press like this guy, but I can move the table left and right and forward and backwards. And yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that's my physical therapy. Right, here, too. Oh. Well, put your hands here, too. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. How far is the lift through? Pretty high, but... I like it. I'm put you guys on the hair I'm the soft No offense, through, dear friends, through. All right. I'm just saying, we play here, through. Oh, yeah. through. Definitely. You remember all that song, through? The who? And I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, goddamn, through, right? You're not that old yet, through. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, I'll tell you that next week, dear friends, through. All right. See ya. See ya. Have a good one. Bye, boys.